So this week's video for the Raspberry Pi action camera is basically just going to be a kind of updates video as I'm in between weeks and uh, the way it got left off this week is a bit uh, awkward so uh, sit back, relax, I'm going to go over what I've done so far and my current plans and then uh, we'll see from there. So the biggest thing this week that I actually did was I added and bought this fisheye lens uh, camera module for the Raspberry Pi. Um, it works just like the normal Raspberry Pi camera, except it has a fisheye lens, which should hopefully be much more similar to what the GoPro has. And I also found this little uh, short little ribbon cable, basically so that it fits in the case. I actually ended up buying uh, the Raspberry Pi case um, with camera because it comes with that little uh, cable thing. It was actually only like $3. So in the spirit of trying to keep this as uh, cost effective and kind of low price as I can, uh, usually you're finding these ribbon cables for like seven or eight dollars and I actually couldn't find this smaller one really anywhere for a reasonable price and it actually just comes with the standard Raspberry Pi case so you kind of get a free case out of your little three dollar ribbon cable there. Now that I have a wide angle lens for our camera setup here the rest of this week was basically to get the code working so that way I can actually record from it and actually spent then time working on the case and getting the case all figured out so that I could kind of do a very simple prototype. So previously for the case, I had been designing my own basically in CAD, reloading CAD, and I got to the point where I, I just didn't quite like the design, so I actually went through Thingiverse and I found a, a good a good case by uh, Mental Uproar, as his username on uh, Thingiverse, but I actually decided to end up using his and kind of modify his to work with mine. His is a Raspberry Pi Zero case that supports the fisheye lens like I do. Um, it has a little more than I need, and I'm missing stuff that I do need, so I actually for this week I ended up downloading the STLs and started editing them. Uh, however, editing those STLs was not very fun. It was kind of a difficult thing for me to do. So uh, I'll get more of this later, but uh, I'm going to have to kind of rethink how I'm going to do this and uh, probably redesign it again for the future videos. But for this week, I got it to set up and I got uh, everything connected and wired up for the Raspberry Pi, the Zero, the camera, uh, and actually wiring for a switch and a button all in the case and all set up. and basically ready to do a prototype and to see how the video looks. So this is what the initial design of the case looks like. Ignore the uh, duct tape. I don't have any screws to hold the case together so duct tape kind of uh, has to suffice for now. But um, as you can see it's not perfect. Some of the gaps like right here on that edge, uh, the lid edge there are just not quite good enough to my opinion. Um, I did get the button and switch all working. They are soldered in there with wires going to the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. So it's going to be doing a little tinkering and stuff with this. However, the biggest thing is that there is no LED indicator, which is kind of, uh, I found it later, a big part of what I need to be able to kind of uh, figure out uh, basically if it's recording and working. So I'll go through and figure out how to add that in at a later date. So now that I have the case and everything set up, I went to record and unfortunately all the video turned out like this. This is kind of why this video is an in-between one because I went to record it. The plan for this one was to be a comparison between the GoPro and this fisheye lens. Unfortunately, every time I tried to record, which was multiple times, it, I just kept getting this weird color pink distortion. Uh, if it helps you know anything, my pants in this are actually black so I, I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I don't fully understand um, what's happening. I, I, I don't know if there is some sort of wire missing or if I broke the pie in some way. I, I, I really I don't know. So unfortunately that is where I'm currently at with figuring this out. So hopefully um, my plan for today is to actually go and uh, swap out the Pi that's currently in the system. I have a few of them luckily. Um, one of them is a demo one but I have a third one which is just sitting around so hopefully uh, I'm going to swap that out. Um, I actually broke the uh, the black like uh, connector for the camera on the, uh, the one that's currently in there so maybe I broke a little more than I thought but at any rate um, that is where I'm at so my plan for today is to do that, retest it, and hopefully uh, next week or the following week we'll have a more better comparison video uh, for this. So real quick before I end this video, I do want to take a second to kind of talk about my current uh, future plans for all this and what I'm planning to do. So I would like for the next video to get the camera everything set up to be able to take it out to the rink record and you know do a comparison as is to the GoPro uh, session I have and just see how they look and do kind of an initial comparison there to see you know, how 
how these look and just how viable this is anyways. Beyond that though, uh, assuming it goes well, my plan for this is to get a better case designed, uh, get it all fitting better, uh, get a more compact system, and then um, I would like to add the LED indicator like I said in the uh, previously. I would also like to make this all just a one button system, so it'll be a button to start and stop recording, and basically a long press. Uh, my current plan is to make the long press be the way you switch between Wi-Fi and AP mode, and then the rest of every all the other controls will be done via the web page that is set up on there, so that flask server that's sitting in that uh, Raspberry Pi Zero when it runs, everything else, all the settings, everything else will be controlled through there. I would also like to eventually add audio to the system, so currently there is no audio whatsoever and I've been looking to various ways to do it and I think the, the best way I can do it that will be the cheapest is to uh, either find, is basically find a microphone that you can get out of a laptop. So an old laptop, the microphone in there, I would like to be able to do a system where you can reuse that to put into this because again this whole project is to be a cheaper uh, GoPro alternative that you can DIY and hack and all that type of stuff. So that's still in the future, so I'll keep thinking about that, but that's my current uh, thought process is to use that with some sort of um, audio uh, booster or whatever that supplementary circuit you need uh, with the system. So in addition to that, the last thing I want to think about is some sort of internal battery power. Currently I'm using that $3 uh, USB power bank. It's great and it works. Um, but down the line, I would like to find, figure out and find a way to integrate this all into the, the system as a whole. So anyways, that's my current plan and also my future plans. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are liking where this is going. And hopefully in the next video, I'll actually have a working prototype and we'll have a good comparison and we'll go from there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.